Hi, my name's Venus O'Hara and welcome to my sex toy laboratory. In this video, I'm going to be testing an erotic board game called Playtime for Adults. This is the very first time I've reviewed an erotic board game and I was so, so, so excited about this because it's very different from a sex toy testing and um, because obviously I had to use it with a partner and it took a couple of hours to test it and it was so erotic, oh my god. I must admit I wasn't really concerned about winning or losing when I was um, about to try this game. Um, I think I'm in other games, I think it would be more about trying to win, but as it's an erotic game, I think um, the fun is taking part and, you, and I think um, you're, you're all winners really because, the inter of, of all, because of all the sexual interactions that inevitably take place throughout the game. I think this type of product is ideal for couples who have fallen into a sexual routine. It's definitely a good idea to spice things up. And it's also great for couples who are getting to know each other. There are so many cards in this game that can help you break the ice. And of course, it can be a very horny idea for more liberal people um, of any sexual orientation and gender. So here is the rule book. I had to consult it quite a lot. So what you have to do is like in most board games, you roll the dice and move around the board and there are different squares. For example, a clothing one where you'd have to remove an item of clothing, feel, well, of course, before I start, we have to do is you have to decide if you're gonna do a regular four rounds, um, four trips around the board or eight. We did four and it's very interesting because um, as, as the game progresses, so does the intensity of the actions. For example, um, the feel square on level one would be feeling your partner over their clothes for one minute. And level two would be feeling under the clothing for one minute. Level three, kiss, lick, suck and finger for one minute, not allowed to climax. Level four, kiss, lick, suck and finger for two minutes. Oh my God, so exciting. And there are also lots of playing cards. And for example, you have level one, flirty, level two, naughty, level three, horny, and level four, filthy. Wow. And it's more than just a sexual game because there are also some would you rather cards and they're quite interesting to find out a bit more about your partner. The other squares that I absolutely loved was, um, well, we don't, um, I don't drink and, and neither does my partner, so we just um, rolled the dice again whenever we landed on that square. Um, but that's obviously good for people who want to have a little drink to become a bit more in, to lose their inhibitions, but don't drink too much because this is such a fun game. <laughs> and then dance, that's so funny because um, ever since I don't drink, I don't dance that much. Um, so level one, the level one dance was, uh, let's say a romantic, a romantic dance. We just go around in circles all the time. And then by level three and level four, well, level three is a dirty dance together. And level four was dancing naked together. And for me, I just, I just turned it into a naked lap dance, which was so, so funny with music on and just like grinding away. And my partner was like, I didn't know you could dance so well. Oh my God. And then kiss, uh, kiss on level one is a peck. And then it evolves to a smooch or getting on top and then kissing with tongues and then hands and really, really having fun. And then the massage, who doesn't like a massage? Level one, it's over the clothing, no genitals. I mean, on level two, under the clothing, no genitals. Level three, one minute on naked body. And then level four, two to three minutes on a naked body. What was really fun about this game is, was as we moved around the squares, let's say if I landed on dance, uh, we did the dance. And then if he landed on it just after, we just kind of continued the dance or the massage or the feel or whatever. And it was really, really fun. And I think it was, uh, it's a great way to really have an extended session of foreplay. And personally, I really like kissing and, and, and snuggling and hugging. So not being able to for such a long time because of the game is just, oh wow, really cool. <laughs> 
So let me give you some examples of the cards that we had. Every time you pass start, you collect an ultimate card. And some of the ones that we collected, well, I guess, um, I guess if you wanted to, you could do the ultimate card um, during the game, but we wanted to save it for another occasion. For example, we got the one about Naughty Secretary. Have you ever fantasized about your partner giving you oral pleasure at your workplace? Either way, you're going to love this. Find a desk or table in your house. Try to do some work or just pretend you are while your partner secretly gets under the desk and begins to perform oral sex with you on you until you climax. <gasps> Wear clothing with easy access. Mmm, really cool. And then another one which was fun. Naughty student. As a teacher in one of your classrooms, you have realized one of your students, your partner, is being naughty and has a crush on you. Unfortunately, you do as well. You have tried everything to make them behave, but no luck. You now have to resort to punishment, which involves getting them on your lap and giving them a good spanking. What happens next is up to you, oh my God. Oh, and this was a really fun one, porn audition. You are a porn movie director holding auditions for your next big movie. Your first candidate is your partner who really wants the role. So um, <laughs> my partner's going to be the director and I'm going to be the wannabe actress and we're gonna do this at the weekend, I think. So really looking forward to it because the game is actually gonna continue. And we both had massive smiles on our face after, because obviously when we, I won by the way, and yeah, it, there was no, um, no loser sulking <laughs> because then we finished off with incredible sex. And I think, um, I think making a really long um, foreplay session is guaranteed just to, to spice things up. And um, we were both kind of on cloud nine the day after, and we still are, and my partner wants to play again. So this is really cool. <laughs> if you land on a would you rather, um, for example, you've got, would you rather live with your parents for the rest of your life or live in your sister's back garden in a tent? Or would you rather get your nipple or your nose pierced? Mm. Would you rather have a massive ass or a flat ass? Would you rather have a date at home or in a restaurant? Would you rather have the ability to fly or be invisible? So, um, so yeah, it's really interesting just so you can get to know your partner or your, whoever you're playing with on, on different levels. So it's very, very interesting. And if you're traveling, there is now an app in development so you can play Playtime for Adults anywhere you want. For more information about Playtime for Adults, check out the link in the description below. That's all from my sex toy laboratory for today. Thanks for watching.